had a huge fear of failing. I didn't want to fail and I didn't want to look bad. I didn't want to let people down. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Tiff and Tony Show. Good morning, everyone. We have a special guest with us this morning, a Pure Game staff member, Joy. Hello, how are you? Good. <laughs> Good. And Tony, how about you? I am well, thank you very much. Uh, wonderful to be here. Wonderful to have Joy uh, on the show. Again, she was on a show um, a while ago um, when we were interviewing um, a, a soccer player. Joy is... Um, uh, previous national team player. She's won two World Cup and three Olympic medals. Um, she is in the top five most influential soccer players in the US. And so um, she's in the Hall of Fame. So we are so lucky to have Joy with us. Uh, it's wonderful to have you here, Joy. Thank you for having me. Good to be here. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you do here at Pure Game. I'm a field champion first, and I love being out on the field with the kids and um, running programs with them and helping um, be a mentor for them. And I love listening to them and their stories and helping them out and helping them believe in themselves. That's first and foremost. And then I do other stuff with computers and stuff. <laughs> You, you play yourself, you play your role down very well because you are actually building, developing the training curriculum to train more field champions. So when we look at Joy, yes, she, she and she's brilliant with kids. Joy, you are awesome as a field champion, but you you go beyond that and then you are a great role, role model for um new field champions you're putting a training platform together for them so we can get more staff to do more of the great work and important work that we do helping develop the curriculum to help um, support the schools and what they're doing as well um, a lot of um, helping kids understand themselves and their emotions and how to manage it and how to work well with people and how to develop friendships and and be responsible so that they can be the best and get where they want to go. And so, yeah, it's been a busy year doing that, but it's been, it's been fun seeing the kids again. So why do you do what you do here at Peer Game? Like what motivates you to work with kids and be a positive role model? Um, one, I, I just love working with kids because they're easy and fun to be around. They're, they just are themselves. And <laughs> I love that about them. I want them to believe in themselves. Just growing up for me, um, that was hard for me to have having confidence in myself. And so it's kind of just been a thing. I, I don't want people to feel that way. I didn't like the feeling. I don't like the feeling of not believing or being confident. And so I just want to give that to kids early on in their life not when they're old and mature and <laughs> i'd rather have them enjoy that state of believing and, and feeling good and confident and earlier on and they should that's why i love working with your game because it's positive and you know working with the kids and listening to them i love hearing their stories and um and just I don't know, just having fun with them. And, and you can see the difference that you make mm. uh, and the impact that you have in their lives. Um, they love, you can just see the changes in, in while you're working with them in the programs over a, a time frame of even just a couple of weeks. I saw a girl today that I met at camp last week. You can just see the difference in, in her confidence that she's happy to be there and, and feels good about being there and who she is. and. Um, and even it's, it's a short time, it has a huge impact. The whole idea of helping kids with their confidence um, stems from, from your background and your story, because you nearly didn't step into the world of professional soccer, did you? You nearly didn't go to ODP uh, that got you down that pathway. Tell us why you didn't 
tell us why you didn't go in there, nearly didn't go in there, and how did you get to go down that pathway? Yeah, I was. Uh, there was a tryout, and back in the day, it was cool because it was an open tryout, and you could try out for ODP, Olympic Development Team, and. Um, my coach was like, yeah, you need to go. And I'm like, I don't want to go. Why do <laughs> I had a huge fear of failing. I didn't want to fail and I didn't want to look bad. I didn't want to let people down. I ended up going, my older sister went with me and my coach dragged us, my high school coach, and she made us go and try out. And I think I was, I think I was probably just turning 14. Mm-hmm. Entering high school, um, but luckily I did and made the team and continued on and made the youth national team and um, yeah and luckily I did otherwise I would never have gone down that path. Um, but I never lost that fear of failing. It kind of drove me and I always thought I was going to be cut from the national team and my teammates would laugh because they're like, "You've been here." you know, 10 years and you still think you're <laughs> like, well, yeah, because <laughs> every camp was a tryout, but um, it took me a while. It's interesting that that can drive you, um, but I think it can also drive you negatively um, too much. But that's a wonderful story that I love to hear because how many more kids are out there right now who's sitting on the cusp of where you were sitting, but they don't have a caring adult um, to kind of push them into an uncomfortable situation to allow them to flourish and grow. I think that's a really cool conversation to have. So I want you yes. to share a story about maybe an experience you've had over the years. It could be from camps this summer, it could be any time, but like what's a story that sticks out to you working with the kids at Pure Game? It could be anything. I, the biggest impact it has on me, some of the older kids, I love when we work with them in Access, Tony knows the Access kids. Um, I, they've been through so many hard things in their life um, and they, I, they just need someone to help them out, like to listen and guide them a little bit that they don't get from parents. Um, so I love being that. So Jesus, I loved working with Jesus last year in Access, you know, and he loved coming out and volunteering with Pure Games. So he would help me out with my programs. Um, he was in the program. Uh, he's a high school student, and um, but he loved just giving to him um, an outlet, somewhere to go. And the kids looked up to him, and he loved working with them. So having that impact on on a student and, and um, has an impact on me, huge impact on me. And I love doing that and helping guide them. Um, and there's other kids in that program as well that came out and volunteered and I loved helping them and seeing them, the confidence it gave them to, for them to help kids was huge. Um, and it built them up to believe in themselves that they could do something. Um, productive and, and good and and kids love them so mm. to see that change in them was was fun a lot of fun to see mm. I know a lot of those access kids that you've been talking about when you are interested in them and show them that you care and take them to volunteer at a program you provide so much more confidence and um, give them a sense of oh I'm really needed someone wants me here which is something that they're not used to so i love the fact that you do that and um that's a that's a big deal so well done joy yeah it was always fun and i did need them <laughs> i always love the help and they were great with the kids so so a huge goal of ours here at pure game is to be a role model a positive influence a mentor in these kids lives who did you have in your life joy growing up um, whether it was when you made the transition to ODP, and I know you mentioned your coach, challenging you and pushing you into that, but who in your life did you have along the way that were people that kind of played roles like you're playing in these kids' lives? I had tons of role models along the way, and I took pieces from different people. Um, my older brother, he was, a, I looked up to him. He was a soccer player, played at UCLA. So I loved going to all of his games. Um, 
and just kind of saw that because he was a quiet person as well but when he got on the field he was so loud and I was like wow I've never heard him talk so much and um, so looked up to him that way and just loved watching the, his games up there at UCLA and then um, my parents were great just their work ethic they worked super hard I mean we have so many people in our house and they the amount of effort just to feed all of us <laughs> the work they put in was I saw it every day. Um, and then my high school coach, she was a big one. Even though she didn't know the game at all, um, she had a huge impact on the discipline, my discipline. Like she really taught me how to be disciplined and to push through tough times. Um, she worked our butts off, but, <laughs> um, but she had that impact on me early on that the work I put in, um, made a big difference in my play and school and all of that. So, and then there's people along the way throughout my whole career, different coaches and, and people. And that tends to be what happens in our lives is we have these people that might come in for these seasons or like segments of our life that we need in those moments. And then we kind of develop and move on. And then someone else comes in our life to help um, mentor us and be a positive influence. I love that. And it sounds like you've had a lot of people throughout your life. And I think the most beautiful thing is that not only did you have those people in your life because you needed them and we all need them, is now you get to be that for so many other people. Like I, I look up to you and admire you. So it's not just the kids that you're affecting, it's it's your fellow um, staff members and you know teammates as if you will, you know, here at Pure Game. And I'm sure your daughters and so many other people in your life that you impact. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I definitely want to give back and help people. And that's that's really what I enjoy in life is I love the relationships that I have with people and helping people get where they want to be. This actually is a perfect segue. We have a giving day coming up. It's called Impact Anaheim. And what joy do you say to people who are on the fence about supporting Pure Game, supporting other nonprofits? Um, what would be like one of your top reasons why donating is helpful for everyone? I think donating it, sometimes you feel like it doesn't make a difference, but it does make a huge impact um, with these kids and the, the kids that we're helping, whether it's we're able to provide camps for them that have a huge impact on these kids. They have a place to go. They have friends that they can meet. I saw that today. You know, they were so excited because they got to meet new people. And these two little girls were the cutest because they made friends that they didn't even know each other, but they had they were able to make friends. So the donations have a huge impact because they they're able to go to this camp that they would never be able to attend otherwise. And then we're we're able to staff the camp with great people, and and they're able to come and ha and be those mentors for those kids and role models for this, those kids. Um, so please give because it does have an impact and it it goes to the kids and it directly helps them every day. Yeah, I'm going to jump in there as well and, and just add to that. The fact that, so giving to an organization like Pure Game allows us to help kids become their very best. Um, and what it actually does is it allows us to put Joy Fawcett on the field with these kids. And most of them don't even know um, who Joy Foss is, how much she's played <laughs> soccer, the level of which she's played. Um, Joy is just a wonderful role model and mentor for kids um, to put them on the right path. She's, she's played at the highest level and she can help these kids understand who they are and the potential they have, which is awesome to see. And that's the beautiful part of all of this. So please join us on July 28th. Shameless plug here. Um, we're doing a 24 hour giving day. It's called Impact Anaheim. You can follow us on social media and um, our website to get all the information of how to donate July 28th. I'll include this uh, in the links below. So stay tuned for that. Any final thoughts or questions? I'm just excited that we're back out with kids on the field. Um, 
Mm-hmm. It's, it's what I love and live for is being able to be out there with the kids and have fun with them and, and really do have an impact on them. And it's, and, and it's important right now that kids um, get outside and get active again. Um, but it goes beyond the physical activity. It's actually socially engaging with other kids their age. Um, it's learning the new skills to take on this new world, this social emotional learning that we've talked about, um, this character education, leadership, whatever it is that we're teaching these kids when we're out there with them. So important at this right now at this very time in our history that these kids learn these skills. Well, thank you both so much for being here. Joy, we just, we always love having moments to spend time together. Thank you so much for being willing to come on the Tiff and Tony show. It's been great. And I know you've got a camp to get to this afternoon and you came from a camp this morning. So you sandwiched us in. Um, And Tony, as always, thank you. And we'll see everybody next week. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Joy. Thank you so much for joining Tony and me in this week's episode of the Tiff and Tony Show. We hope you feel encouraged and motivated to keep growing with us. If you like what we do here at Peer Game, one of the best ways you can support us is by liking and sharing this video with your friends on social media. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel using the button directly below this video on YouTube. And you can donate at our website, www.thepeergame.org. And with that, we'll see you right back here next week.